Hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, it's been a long time. When was the last time I we shot remember. a video? About two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we shot one that was Iron Age, but that was... Oh, like together on this channel? <laughs> on channel? <laughs> you're not fat. You're funny, you're funny. Anyways, guys, this is a podcast now. Yeah, hi, yesterday. Hi, hi, Emmanuel. Welcome How to the you? OMG podcast. Nice. It's great. It's great to be here. <laughs> it's nice to be here. I've never been on a podcast before. <laughs> so let me explain what is happening to you guys. Um, so our newborn, and which which I've discovered happens with <laughs> a lot of babies. When they play, they get to a point. When they play, they can't control the play. What did they call that? Overstimulated. She's overstimulated. I am. Yeah, I am. Hundred and ten percent. I'm actually very knackered. <laughs> Currently exhausted. But no more. Like, yeah. Thank God we are finally able to pull this off. Although this was not the plan. It was supposed to be more organized than this and arranged. I'm not but, supposed to look like this. But this is the best we I'm can. Like, oh my god, this is what I'm looking like. And if anybody talks about my hair. Oh, I see. You know, some people like, oh, I see. Yesterday, when are you going to make your hair? Are you, is it your head? Is it your head? Why do I feel like you're a Are you yeah, a bad I, word? No, yeah, no, the Holy Spirit is me. When did you become like that? No, I wasn't going to say a bad word. I was going to, I was going to say, are you well? Are you well? Just in case this thing, this particular camera is not in focus, forgive me, because eh? I just have it. It might not be in focus. <laughs> Anyways, so hi, you guys. You don't trust my eyesight then. Welcome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me where they wear glasses. It's still the where shall I? okay. Welcome to the OMG's channel 2024. Uh, uh, man, okay. You know <laughs> make I talk a bit. <laughs> so most likely I don't think we'll use the intro. Okay, this is even podcast. We don't even know. But so the intro we used to use before is now it. outdated. <laughs> can't use it. Oh my gosh, I can't use my intro anymore ever. Why? Because now only you did your intro now. No, fair is in it. No, not only you did your intro. I hate it. Oh, it's okay, 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 yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, yeah. so the OMG intro that you people like, OMGs, OMGs, the song will still be there, but wow. we have to shoot that video. Let me Again. tell you, I don't even remember life without... Um, without what? My baby, uh, newborn. Without Fife. So do, you, do you remember how life was with Ferrum? I do, but it's like, it's like, I can't, I mean, what I mean to say is that I can't imagine... Now that Fifa is here, I can't. Like my mind is like, oh wow. Anyways, enjoy your popcorn. So this, <laughs> this uh, it just shows that this might be a long episode, and we don't want it to be a long episode, you no. know. But it might be because the story is long. So yeah, we are here, twenty twenty four. Glory be to God. Pray for us to be able to keep this going because oh my, it was so hard. First of all, to get her, <laughs> then to set up. Just... If you can see the way the house is now, eh? mm. but yeah. So thank God, and we are here. You know, not as we were last year. We were last here, year. not as we were yeah, last, last year. Because <laughs> oh, we have a new one here. <laughs> so, you know, thank God. God has added to us and we have a new baby, you know. Wow. And um, amazing. We are now complete. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You know, we are complete in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't want to hear any story. <laughs> anyway, I go my, run away. My wife reject <laughs> one by one. <laughs> As I did that, I'm going to remove my womb. <laughs> Same. This womb. You know. But basically, um, today we just hope we can cover it because it's a long story, but we just want to talk about the road that led here. And I would hand over the mic to you. Mm. You know. Just even. Yeah, just. I, I'm going to keep it brief, though. Like, I'm going to keep it. I'm, I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to try to talk too much. We, it's both of us that will be talking, but we'll mm. touch as much as we need to talk because we've kept people waiting for so long. You're right. And they cannot now wait for this long and you now keep it brief. Don't, <laughs> Not brief, but don't, you know what I mean. Don't part to them. <laughs> that was amazing. Mm. Very... Don't be a lie. <laughs> don't be a lie. No, that's... What are you trying to say? It was not amazing. Let's, let's keep it as that. I mean, if I don't care. That's not what we're here but for. That's not what so, we're here for, but right. it wasn't amazing. Anyway, so... So first of all, back to even our first child. Mm. You know, that journey itself was a very interesting journey because there was a scare. Yeah. Um, with referring me, I, <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't actually familiar with what it was like to 
be in the first trimester of of um pregnancy that you're not supposed to walk too do too much basically and that even the things that i'm used to do used to do i have to do it carefully and don't step out of the things i'm used to doing basically and i did a long walk i went on that canopy whatever what's that the one that is in lecky that canopy the that clean is your no lecky no that that free trade Zone. Yes. Is that what yeah. it's called? Okay. That's not what it's called, but that's like shout around there. And I walked on that long thing, which is like one of the longest. And you know what, they had already warned you before then. No. Well, uh, we had it. Remember, we had a sca- um, we had a scan and uh, and the. He said there was something thin that you needed blood. a bed rest. Or yeah, and he was like, "You're stressing this pregnancy. You need to be careful." He the man practically caned both of us. Said that. And he even said that you cannot touch me. And we were yeah, like, I didn't touch I didn't do anything but you're on the east and then we went I went to the, and the other hospital can I say the name the hospital no. anyway I went to the other hospital and I did another scan and they were like oh no everything's fine they don't know what they're doing oh yeah I yeah. don't even remember that I remember did it. I follow you to the hospital you did follow me did you follow me no you didn't you didn't you were, you were working and they were like, no, everything's fine. So I, and I was like, oh, but I went to the, do another scan at this place. And the person was like, I need to be careful. They were like, no, no, everything's fine. You you can do things as normal. That's when I now went to this kind of people. So I think we can mention the first place because we need to give those guys, you know, if you ever want to do scanning, because these guys are so good. They're in Suru Liri. What's their name? Uh, oh, my God. Try. Is it, prim- mm, it begins with a P. It's fine. Let's keep going. Let's, you know, no, let me find their name because... They actually, we'll write it on the yeah we'll write yeah, it we'll write but, it. Yeah, but they are good it begins you know. with, it brings it, it begins, I feel like it, I remember it begins with a piece because right? even remember we are still going to get to miscarriage and blah 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 but the miscarriage when that, that doctor said there was pieces in there are some uh, things belly that then and, we went to check in this other place but let's take it small piece by piece okay so, prisms but, that's it prisms, prisms. it's true very very amazing good. and the thing is that there is a particular radiologist he's the same one that we had for Ferami and years later he's the same yeah. one Ama- the guy is amazing like he knows his stuff and um, yeah so basically we had, he, had, he was the one that had warned me anyway I went on that walk I came out and I was bleeding terribly like my friends rushed me to the hospital. I went to St. Nicholas in... The reason why I'm mentioning them because they really looked after me in St. Nicholas in um, Lagos Island. No, this Lagos is Lagos Island. Lagos yeah. Island. It, like, and... Uh, they put you on bed rest. They put my bed rest immediately. But I was then there I, for, I had to travel then, so it was just... I was there for a week. <sighs> they gave me pap. Or just, nah. like, I, and they tried to give me a call. I could not. Anyway, but cha. They looked after me really well. Long story short, God saved us. God saved us. We, God we saved almost Fermi. miscarried. Yes. We got to save for me and I went on to have a great rest of the pregnancy. I had another bed, week of bed rest after that, I remember. And yeah, and then that was it. If I were caught in from there. So we had fair on me, thank God and everything. But mm-hmm. you know, the because I witnessed the old delivery and all that, it wasn't easy. You know, then even the, because um, she had um, um, C-section. You an know, emergency C-section. An emergency C-section, which, was, yeah. as a man, I would tell you that it's not easier than um, labor. Mm-hmm. It's not... No, no, a, than um, vaginal birth. Than vaginal birth, yeah. I mean. It's not a coward. It's not... Mm-hmm. It's, um, because people make it seem like, oh, um, you, are not bo- you are not strong. It is not... They, none is easier than mm-hmm. the other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. So... And because of how that was, even the recovery process, and uh, it was crazy, you know, for me, I'm still having PTSD, mm-hmm. remembering. So with that one, me, I was like, oh, I'm okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want any, I'm okay, you know. And we went on like that for a while till we realized that Fenomi needs a, <laughs> she needs a playmate, you mm-hmm. know. So we got back and we're like, okay, yeah, we need one more person in this family. Yeah. Then the journey began. And you know what's so funny? Because I got pregnant almost immediately. That was like immediately that we had said that okay we all want, and I remember that felt so good. It felt great. I was like wow, we just wanted it. To. Felt I felt I, I what Kemi was like ah, ah man yeah. the, the emperor did that. I felt like ah, ah. like literally it was like we said that we want a baby. We got pregnant almost like please practically immediately, and then that was during that's 2020. COVID. <laughs> ah. Do you know what? Every time I think about that day. Like, I how did it happen again? I can't remember. So, I was in the room. How long gone were? 
I think I think I think we were like six weeks. So I was about six weeks and I saw some blood. And then at first it was like I'm just just yeah, I remember we just, were trying to come ourselves down. No, it's not any Yeah, I remember like and but is it the same one? Well I'm trying to think. Yes. Okay, so because you know that there was yeah, so first oh sorry. So COVID, COVID year, I was in the house, I saw blood. I remember we called Kemi and she was like, just take, just rest. Let's just, you know, let's just basically see how it goes. Kemi's our friend as a doctor. God yeah. bless you. She's, she's, she's amazing. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. So basically I was bleeding and I kept bleeding and then I kept bleeding. And then it was a lot of blood. Like it was constant. And then it was, you know, at first it was little and then it was a lot of blood. And then um, what happened? I spoke to Kemi and then she was like, Obviously, I was sad about it. She was like, you know, obviously you're sad. She's like, I know you're sad about it, but you don't sound good. This is on the phone. She's like, you don't sound good. I need you to go to the hospital. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, so, ah, homo. Mm. That was that time that you kept bleeding for days. Yes. You know, like, and you were just home. And, yeah. And we went to check and they were like, then go, we came. That, so first, when we were, first we went to the hospital near the house. Yeah. And then there was nobody there. There was no one at the hospital. There was no doctor at the hospital. There was only a nurse. And they didn't, there was no doctor that was going to be available up until Monday. This was a Saturday. But wasn't that the same place? So we had to go the next day. Because mm-hmm. I thought that was the same place that when they checked, they were like, you've lost so much blood. How are you still standing or something? No, that was, a, that was a, the first place we went to first. She checked my blood pressure and she was scared. She was like, you know that um, if you can wait maybe to tomorrow i think you should go to the one in lagos island right um and i was like mm. and then she was like ah. she checked my when she checked my stats she was she was just like meanwhile you know, this was, was covid where there was really no movement and all those and things, we were having know? to carry ferry around with us yeah. so she, she was like she was scared like she was like mm, you can't wait at that how i can't wait till monday but if i can please maybe go to somewhere shall and then we now went to the other hospital, Wale's old hospital, and I have a Maria. Well, that, okay, okay, that one, okay. That was where we discovered Fermi's pregnancy in the first place, that one? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yeah. And, and then, so we went there, there was nobody there. It was a ghost town. And so from there, so we spoke to Kemi, she then said to, we should go now to, to the to government hospital. Island maternity. I'll never forget that doctor. I don't remember his name, but I'll never forget him because that man, you know, so Kemi had told him, you know, whatever she had told him. So they were wait, wait, waiting and ready to receive me. And, and before before you continue, don't mm. forget where you stopped. Mm. I just want to give a shout out to, because they are just some patriotic Nigerians. Yeah. For example, there was no reason that that doctor should have been in that, should be in that hospital because nothing was working in that hospital. That doctor was so good. Do you know? And you will know that this man just had people he was just there for the people service because i'm sure they were not paying him enough mm. i'm like that kind of doctor usa we grab him but yeah. he was just there you know and god bless you I, I i wish we remember your name but continue but my heart is like you know it hurts because it's that we need nigeria needs these doctors and they go it is so scary but anyway so so we went got to the hospital and he was waiting outside because i think what kevin told him was like my my blood was level was so low that there she was fearful that I could faint and they needed somebody you know because obviously it's a government hospital every single thing like down to you know if they're going to use like a what it, a urine sample the thing that they use for the sample you have to go to the counter to pay for it you have to keep going back and forth to go to the counter yeah. so he was like yeah so he was like are you sure you're going to be able to do it I was like yes I have to because <laughs> I wasn't going to let Fermi come into the hospital. And I was with and her you, in the car. And you were over in the car. There was nobody else. We didn't have any, we didn't have, we didn't have any nanny <laughs> at that point. Everyone just, oh my God. Because, yeah. And then, um, oh, so, you, Jesus. so you were, you were in the car with her. I was like, don't worry, I'll be fine. That I can do it. So I had to keep going back and forth to the, like, basically. And you were still bleeding. Yeah, yes. And there was the, um, what's that thing? There's a thing that they, I can't remember it, but it opens up your cervix. It's to widen it, like the spe- speculum that they use to put it inside you and oh, open up your. Spe- yeah, yeah that, you've huh. seen. And so I had to go back, get it, you know, all that kind of stuff, pay for it, you know, go back, go back. 
And let me tell you, so the hospital was in the middle of renovation that, at that point, um, which, you know, I guess that was a good sign because it's it's, the hospital is a very old hospital. My mom even knows the hospital very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I was going back and forth. They were checking me. My blood left. I had lost a lot of blood. It was touch and go because I think Kemi had told him that I may need a transfusion. You know, and so what he did was like, you know, he was checking me, they're monitoring me. And then eventually, thank God, I didn't need a transfusion. They gave he gave me some medicine that enabled, enabled like um, my blood levels to kind of basically increase. Okay, okay. I'm good, I'm good, sorry. Yeah, I'm good. Um, so it helped my, my blood levels increase. And then we were there like, pretty much most of the night and we left like early hours of the morning so you and Fremi were in the car like for ages even going to the toilet there was no tissue in the toilet remember there was no like the light wasn't working I had to go to I had to use the toilet it was it was really something I remember you had to spread paper on the floor or something like that. Okay, yeah. okay. So before they did my examination, they needed, obviously there's a paper that, that, you know, over in the UK, you know that there's like a big roll of tissue paper, like a massive roll of tissue paper that they, they rip for each time they use it and they dispose it after. There was none, they didn't have any. So they, I would have had to go and buy it, but there actually was none available. So they had to use delivery paper. Mm-hmm. So there was like, a piece of like some bigger piece, piece of paper from water delivery they had to lay that underneath my my bum and and basically check me so he had to examine me to make sure that everything had passed through so i had obviously effectively i had a miscarriage that had lasted over a couple of days and he had to examine me to make sure everything like all the cavities and everything from the fetus had left my body so basically if it doesn't leave it like it's very dangerous if it's left any part who is left inside so thankfully everything was gone so you know that went from not just being a miscarriage to also like a threat to life you know yeah, because uh, yeah and in yeah. the worst period ever where there were no hands on in the hospital because mm. everyone was home mm. with covid and you know and we had we, let, let our nanny go because she was moving mad <laughs> <laughs> so I, I remembering now again is just a huge testimony because that doctor was just like an angel you know mm. what are the odds that we would find that kind of person in that kind of time you know because it was just a weird time for that to happen and it just shows that you know even in the um quote and unquote what bad what seems bad and everything you know god is just still watching out for us you know because now we are at the other end like we're at this side of our testimonies and thank God, thanking God. And we're looking at the road we came from, which was not easy. <laughs> These things that we are narrating to you, it was a crazy roller coaster, you know. But now looking in hindsight and even seeing how God brought us through, you know, what was what was your emotional response? Do you know the thing is, I think for the most part, um, I think I was numb for most of it because it was... It was just so many things happening at once. And for me, whenever things are happening like that, I feel like I'm, I feel inconvenienced. I don't, you know, I don't like change too much. I like to, I don't like, to, I, take, I like to take my time to adjust to things. So if something is happening to me, I feel, it makes me feel a bit helpless. And I try to try to like block it out. But I just was pretty numb to it. But what was crazy for me was like, I just felt like, wow, like, like, like this Nigerian healthcare system is really crappy that like and it's very scary because I really felt that if we didn't have Kemi what would we have done mm-hmm. because the hospitals that we went to, to that we knew to go to there was nobody to help us at that time like I know that and that's because you know you, 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 even if you have the money there was nobody there that's scary like it was really scary to think that there was no doctor available because what they i think it was weekend <laughs> and i was like hospital is it turned into a nine to five yeah that was crazy but yeah we thank god you know we got through that and you know because 
it was the first time. Yeah, it will felt somehow, but we're like, okay, yeah, you know, and it, particularly because we at least we thank God that we got. So the doctor was like, if everything flows out of you, that would be fine. If mm. not, there will be. And we thank God everything flowed everything out of Ali. Yeah. So it was like, ah. Thank God you are fine. You are okay. Exactly. Like I, I just felt like, oh, at least thank God. You know? And you know, we went through that, and um, and so that was like, ooh, that, that was, and then after we went to Maldives, didn't it? Like later, that's when that woman. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we and all this all this wild. So imagine coming online and people like you don't want to give birth to another one. You and also, you know, you know, I had like a, I had a bit of a stomach from like it's like. Yeah, and yeah. we went to, you know, we I, I had a show in Maldives and she came along with me. And me bringing her along with me is also, you know, trying to process our healing and, you know, getting her mind off things, you know. So imagine mm-hmm. being in that kind of environment and if co woman like you literally, you know, um, she, yeah, body she shaming has, you with your belly. And she you offered know. me, um, like uh, she walked up to her and gave her, what do they call that? Waist trainer. Waist tra- as in. And I told her. That I had a, a miscarriage. She's like, doesn't matter. Just, it's okay. Just wear it. And I just thought, it's crazy. Anyway, ah, people did this life. People did this life. You know. But yeah, that came and went. And you know, um, then. Following year. How long did it take before we? It was the following year. It was. So you you need to know the way the emotions came. So imagine with this loss, then the following year we got another we got another pregnancy excitement and. I felt that man leave said for again that, ah thank god Femi, it, Femi was turning five um so remember we had to you do, we did a photo shoot a photo shoot yeah and you know i was, was I she think, turning five she's turning five was, yeah her fifth was it no, was it four no it was four it was four and um yeah so we the photo, photo shoot Kemi had planned a photo shoot for her it was like so she's the first one you did you went you had to, I couldn't go because I started spotting remember I was we had and they said you need to you need, you need to be on bed rest remember I, I yeah and we had used that hospital in Ikeja till this day I've never heard from that doctor again that pains me that doctor that fertility hospital in Ikeja that we were that was recommended to us it was a fertility, 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 uh, fertility hospital that dealt with like pregnancies and stuff. And there Walk was a, a, a female doctor that we went to see. Remember in, in GRE, mm-hmm. in Ikeja? Mm-hmm. They, and we went to that hospital. That was that hospital for... That, that girl was... They yeah, had to check my yeah, yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, that's yes. true. Yes. Remember that's I, true. Was, I was still talking to the doctor, letting her know our spot and she was like, oh, I should just take it, you know, I should just take some bed rest or whatever. I never heard from her again after, but obviously like... You know anyway um so that was so let's just start from the beginning we mm-hmm. found out we we're pregnant and everything how far uh, and shortly after then you started spotting that is like you started seeing some blood and you were supposed to be on bed rest yes and you were on bed rest for two three weeks yeah i was on bed rest for ages because i watched the whole of that series on bbc so you know bed rest means <laughs> she's just been on bed but you were not exactly on bed rest because was- you know, you go downstairs, you go to the game. Because of Ferrum, yeah. And I was like, yeah. And you know, also, and sometimes you still bend down and everything, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I, you know, bed rest, because literally bed rest, like when I was on bed rest with Ferrum, it was like, they would wheel me to have my bath. They would wheel me to, in the, like in at St. Nicholas. In the but you know, I, can, I in, think um, I... At Lagos Island. So, so uh, I... But let's quickly, let, let's just get to the end mm-hmm. of it first. So after that whole bed rest and everything, you know, and imagine we're now going to check we're now going to the hospital so we had gone for a scan the week before everything was fine yeah and then we went again to the to this scan center prisms so we had gone somewhere else they said it was fine you know oh my god it feels like a let me tell you i felt like i was in a yoruba nollywood movie <laughs> that very day it felt like a yoruba nollywood movie because so we got there and fermi was there with us obviously and we parked we went inside and I was—I don't know—I was high I, hopes. You know, we were—we were excited because it was like this was this was um, we had gone quite far. I think we were quite far into the first trimester. And this, we just this finished a, the bed rest, of, you know. And this was the time to we could even hear the heartbeat. We're supposed to hear the heartbeat, and then you know I was laying down. He, you know, he did the whole thing, put the put the gel on, and was starting to 
do for the heart. And I remember that day that he kept on going and he kept on going. And I was and like, you exactly. You I were, said to him that, oh, you know, can you turn up the volume? <laughs> it's so mad. Like I, I was like, can you turn up the volume? I can't hear the heart because I didn't. Because expect, let me tell you, I didn't yeah. expect anything other than oh, I said, why? And he wasn't saying anything. And then like he did the most uh, your man Hollywood thing. The tension in that room was mad. <laughs> he did the most your man Hollywood thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my real life. He was like, like can he just to talk to my husband? <laughs> I said no. I said no. But before even before that, <laughs> he he did he, he checked, checked, kept checking, checked, kept checking. checked. As and in, I was just chatting. It was away. like uh, and you and you were asking that is there anything? You mm. said no, no problem. You're asking or more. So I just feel sick thinking about that. And just for them to say that it had happened just at around the time we started the bed rest. Yeah, yeah. So the bed rest basically was just you for nothing. Know. For me, well, you know, I think I felt. I think me, I kind of felt. I knew when it happened. It was. I felt me. I felt like it happened in the last week when you came for Fermi's birthday shoot. You know, I, yeah, you, I feel you felt like, like it that. Was because but, you know there was one particular major spot on that day, you mm. know. But overall, even like after that man checked, the owner of the prison now said, "No, he let's checked. go back." He went, yeah, he went back and checked. <laughs> and so imagine, it's it's so crazy because just before then, you know, it was during COVID. I started this my birthday shout out thing. You know, there's the package that I do for people, like people pay for it and all that. And this man, his his family had um. Paid, you know, yeah, as a surprise for him, and and I did, and he was so pleased and everything. And so when he got to meet me, you know, he was like, "Oh, nice to meet you, was you and everything." So imagine that same excitement and everything. We now finding out it was it was so devastating because we were not expecting it, you know. And you you are in tears is about to come out again. It was, you know, we didn't accept it. We went home, so knocking my nose. <laughs> we went home like. We, because they said so. Before we went home, okay. Um, they checked and, and kept checking, and it just I was, you know, it's like you know, I don't know when you when you've watched just like a film or something, and people are talking and it just sounds to and it now starts to sound like white noise. Like, mm-hmm. That's what it, sound, it started sounding like. I was just like, because I didn't, I was just confused. Like I was like, what's happening? Like now, what's happening? Um. I remember, and then Kemi had come. Kemi had come, and she was like, she yeah. checked as well. And she checked. She's obviously the doctors. They and showed like, her, we'll and go she was, else she go, we'll go somewhere else. We went to another um, um, scan center, <laughs> where that one was, which was really <laughs> wild. Because the guy was like, um, "Okay, so basically, the fetus isn't viable, but can I take a selfie?" <laughs> I'm a big fan. That was that was out of like that was just crazy, and he was and I took the picture. No, it wasn't a selfie. I took the picture. Like, just, if you don't mind, that can that's, I? Oh, like, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, you just miscarried, but you know, can I take a picture? <laughs> no, I was like, could you mind? I was like, oh, uh, pff, well, yeah, I guess I'm not doing anything. So, um, and that just gives you an idea of where I go to. Because sometimes when I explain it to you, you don't understand. You know, really it's almost mind. as if people do not expect you to have feelings and everything you know and it's part of why i always wear mask around here mm. i would tell you that there's someone in 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 fermi school that because i went to you know i went to the meeting one time mm-hmm. and she obviously so i met her that day, she saw my face and everything and it's always ridiculous i will see her with her husband she will literally you know because i'm wearing mask you obviously you see that when person they try cover even if you know the person just respect it they're talking to her but when you can you come up the other day too, she was on the phone. Ah, but what do I'm calling? And in a way that I would hear, you know, but that's not even the point. And is that even, that's how is that meant to be point. flattering? But anyway, that was really crazy. That was very wild. If the, this guy ever watches it, you're crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Never do that again in your life. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> just madness. So yeah, obviously. <laughs> and now that you were the one that took the picture. <laughs> I'm the one that took the picture. <laughs> you, and you were just like so dumbfounded. Like you were just like, what? <laughs> I was like, well, clearly, he, you know, there's nothing that he can do. It's like, yeah, he, was, he, was so, he was so funny because in one vein, he was like, I'm so sorry, you know, yeah. it's not. And the next minute, like, <laughs> anyway, I had to, so I was now Googling because I, I was confused because I had never heard about this kind of miscarriage before. So the thing is, I didn't bleed like the first time. You know, the first time I was bleeding, so obviously the, everything had come out. This one, 
there wasn't bleeding like that. They were spotting, but there wasn't like a... So I didn't understand what was going on. They were like, okay, so I need to do a DNC. Oh. Babe, see, I know you can't... I don't... I can't imagine what you went through, but where I was to babe, I was just crying and just praying and playing, playing, you know, gospel song and everything. And I think... I, I don't know if it was before or during we had gone to see that doctor we had gone to see a nurse and the nurse was like why did they keep the, keep it this long in you this was after so after this was um before the dnc before the dnc the dnc was the next day the, and the nurse no, was the, like yeah she gave us his no, blood no, no. that Remember so I so, was, so no, pregnant we, women die every you. so no, no, before that so before all of that this was okay so basically we had gone to this other place they no yeah, we were going to the other place and checked. No, that we're going to the. To from that what place. I remember, we jumped. You know, so after okay. prisms, we waited from Friday. We prayed from Friday to from, Monday. To Monday. This like, is why I have to thank God for PwC. PwC, like, I thank God for I O. Yeah. I am I am I am S A. They started the prayer chain. I'm still yet to give this testimony in PwC itself. I will. They started the prayer chain. They didn't know it was me. And that's the thing about PwC. People pray for people. Like they don't even know who they're praying for. And they pray for them with so much heart. I could hear people praying for me and they didn't know it was for me. Some people still don't know. Some like they still don't know it was me that they were praying for that weekend, that whole. They did a 24 hour prayer chain for me. For us. And I had a dream. I was like, like you were listening to Joe Osteen, you were listening to worship. All through, I felt like a zombie throughout. You know, you were trying to encourage me. I just couldn't hear you. I just, I just couldn't, I didn't understand what was going on. Because again, it was, I was like, this thing is in my body and I, like, it's not alive. It's dead inside me. I want it out. Like, but am I how is this is going to come back alive and I was like like I was so conflicted there were so many things like is my faith not strong enough like it was just a lot and yeah it was a lot and then by the time I started to feel sick I was feeling really sick on the either the Saturday night or the Sunday night and then we had to rush to the hospital and that's when the, we met the nurse and she was like this you should and this is dangerous long. you shouldn't wait this long it was the statistics that oh something something and i was now really scared i wanted them to open me up there and then but they had, I had to and wait we had to, to wait to the next to the oh next boy. thing and so the next day came and they had to prep me for the dnc and the dnc again it's like so yeah, i was under local anesthetic so they put me to sleep which I didn't expect. But obviously they told me, but then I was like, oh, okay. Put me to sleep. Like I can remember, I still remember it. Like it was yesterday. It was the room. I remember the room. And I remember it starting to drift off. Like I didn't want to close my eyes. And I just, and when I woke up, it, they were done. I didn't feel anything, obviously. And then I was in the recovery room. And they did a scan. <laughs> and this... <laughs> This bumble class <laughs> scan doctor. The radiologist. I, do you know, I don't like, I don't know what the hell happens. Again, St. <laughs> Nicholas, I don't know what's going on. The guy said, <laughs> this is another branch of The guy said it was still seeing particles. Now, and then, the, another and then the, the, gyno, the, the gynecologist that did that, performed the DNC, he now started second guessing. So he's like, he doesn't understand. Maybe he's going to have to go in again. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh <Lord. laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa and by this time i was already having like a reaction from yeah. whatever i don't know i yeah. started to for a good six months to a no, year we'll get to that reaction let's just round up with this radiologist so, anyway, so this radiologist said he was still seeing particles like that means like they didn't remove get everything they everything, didn't get all there was still a bit of like cavities or whatever guess where we went back to again prisms prisms and when the doc the owner of prisms Mr. shout out to prisms so if you are seeing so really see pregnant people in nigeria 
if you are in Abuja, <laughs> come to Lagos to come and do your radiology or whatever in prison. To your scans in prison. When that man, when the prison man checked it, he was just laughing that. Who was the person that told you? And he was shocked because he's like, he's like, Saint Nicholas, they have good um, radiology. I said, like, I don't understand. And he was like, what? He said, like, everything, you're fine. Kemi came. She was like, yes, you're fine. There's nothing there. It's everything is good. Um, then the reaction, you know, started. So before then, and I was like, and that's when we, we yeah, yeah, and the reaction. And I started to have an itch. So I think for that, that lasted for about a year. I started itching. I would have to take antihistamines. There were videos we Every did on this days. channel. There's, I'll look for, if I can still put that link, the video where I was, we wore the same clothes, we were dancing, me, you and Fermi, I was singing, and you were that. If you notice, she was itching her body in that video. Like, wow. when I was singing, yeah, now I'll, I'll try and play a part of that video here. Jesus. I was singing, um, we wore that our Asha Oke, yeah. Kobo Asha Oke. Oh my God. And I was singing, so... and you'll be dancing, and you'll be I was in. itching like crazy. Ah, you, we went through a lot, and she went more through a lot and everything. So you would understand, imagine going through all of this. And I won't understand, you know, there are some very, I'm not going to miss words today. There are just some very heartless, unkind, evil people that will come under the guise of, Chebi, you guys put all your life on social media and everything. You need to understand that it's, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it's, it's it's sort of a job also, you know, like mm. for instance, you know, I do I do entertainment, I put stuff out and everything. We do family content. First of all, you know, to use it to educate, to use it to encourage, to use it to make, you know, um, you know, for example, like I'm, a lot of people are, are learning from this, and there, there's still some things we have to say to encourage maybe people that are going through this or have gone through this. Do you understand? So these are things that you know we do. So you can't come under the guise of that that should be you are the one putting your whole life outside and you should be okay with whatever people tell you that you see people that have those kind of mindset you are very very unkind mm. and i pray that you know the love of god melts out the unkindness in you you are just mm. very very unkind mm. that's the best i can say because mm. if not for the love of christ i know what i go talk <laughs> but you are very unkind you know you have no idea what people go through and that's why I, when i defend my wife i i I'm, I've changed, you know, I hope because make nobody still try me, <laughs> you know. I don't mean to word because, so imagine somebody that went through this whole roller coaster, this, and in the midst of, we have seen a little of this because all of this is involved that most times gynecologists, they have to put their hands in stuff. They have to do uncomfortable things to and, and everything. So being through all these things and you are, you now manage, because me away gets my wife. I knew how long it took for me to even have a fraction of my wife back. Do you understand? It was as if she lost her mind. So we are getting back to all these things. You are now saying rubbish online. Do you understand? And you expect me to just be looking at you. You know, but um, it wasn't easy with thank God. And one of the hard parts also for me was, you know, one of my friends, which I know he meant well, mm -hmm. you know, definitely. But, um, you know, hearing that, ah, you guys miscarried again, you know, ah. Man, you, you, you need to join this something. You need to join this prayer for. You now started feeling like see something did. Mm. It's something wrong with yeah. us, you know. Yeah. And I, I, so I'm not blaming, you know, but I'm just putting you through the minds of you know people going through the things. And also, I, I would want to say a thing here for two sets of people. First off, if you've had a number of miscarriages, um, don't, don't. How do I put this? Don't look down on yourself or don't yeah. think that is your fault or whatever. First of all, I want you to know that it's not, you are not alone. You, you'll be shocked. Like when we now met people, when we shared our story, you'll be shocked that a lot of people have these things more than you know. Yeah. Even lot people that you probably know that have never shared it. Because there's a lot of shame that comes mm -hmm. with miscarriage. Yeah. Because you feel shame for your body. You feel shame. You just feel ashamed. And it's wrong to feel ashamed because it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. They, you know... Till now, no doctor can explain why people miscarry. It just happens. And they'll tell you that they don't know. They can't pinpoint it to one, just one or two things. There are obvious things that, you know, that you shouldn't do mm -hmm. that, you know, that can like smoking and drinking. But there are the people that smoke and drink and their babies are fine. But there are people that, you know, or that maybe they, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, you know, miscarriages, there, there is no reason that we can give. Yeah. as to why it happens so in as much as yeah do check up and you know mm -hmm. but do not feel like oh it's, it's, is it your fault is something wrong with you it's because mm. they are, 
it's I don't want to use the word common because of the second thing I want to say now, you mm-hmm. know. But imagine it was when 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 I told my sister, one of my sisters about her miscarriage, that me I found out that she too she went through miscarriage yeah. because in the process of trying to come in and be like, it's almost like oh, no, we, it's yeah. like normal, but. I don't want to use the word normal because of the second set of people. So the first set of people is if you had the number with um, these um, people that we talk with, did they say they had like four or yeah. four miscarriages? Do you understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so a lot of people are almost, I don't know the statistics, but you'll be shocked when you hear the it's statistics of people common. that have had miscarriages. But now, why I do not want to say it's common is because of the second set of people. So if you are just getting married, you've not gotten pregnant and everything, and you are hearing all this, this, and you are feeling like, ah, this one that everybody... I have the mindset you do not Artist. have to have a miscarriage. Amen. Do you understand? Yeah, you know, absolutely. so that's why I'm, that's why I'm not saying it's common. Yes. You know, the fact that oh we had it and a lot of people are having it does not mean that you are going to have it. Yeah, you know, amen. so yeah, believe God that you will not experience a miscarriage. Amen. But if you experience the miscarriage, there's not nothing. Learn. Yeah, yes. so I'm I'm not saying just sit back here, yeah, do checkups and everything, but you know, um, keep your mental energy positive. Do you understand? Because mm-hmm. it's not your fault. And there's nothing wrong with you. And people generally just be kind. Mm. You know, just be kind. Because you don't know what people are going through. And again, you don't want to make it whatever they're going through worse. Because you, again, you don't know what they're going through. And basically just dead this culture of... Uh, uh, when are you going to give this person another... Ch- when are you going to give her a sister? Or when are you ha- when are you people going to have children? It's not your business. Dead, if you sh- don't know, that means you're not supposed to know. It's not your you, business. You'll be shocked... The you you think that is uninformed people. Mm. There was you know, um, Rick Asani invite, invited me for a party, mm-hmm. and I went there and you know somebody there I'll say the name to you later mm. started also having a conversation. Ah, how old is your first child? Ah, it's okay. You people should have another one. And I even tried to you. I was like you don't even know what we have been through. She, said, ah. she just started seeing all that. It was a friend that was not even like ah, calm down now. It's a woman that even said it. As in, <laughs> I would you know so but um. Just let people be people the mm. way people want to be people. Mm. Even when someone is pregnant, if they did not allow, announce to you that they are pregnant, if you see that they are trying to hide the fact that they are pregnant, let them, let them hide it. Let them. You don't know. Pregnancy, the pregnancy doesn't hide people itself. Are, yeah. but let them, if, they want, if you can see it, you don't be the announcer. You know? You know. But on a lighter note, um, we would continue this some other time because mm. we have to end this now because of the testimony that God has given us because you can hear her voice on the monitor. You That's know, I keep looking at her. you know, she's she's awake now. And this is also to now let you know that you, you've gone through a number of miscarriages. You, you've not even conceived at all and you are like, you've been married for so, so, so number mm-hmm. of years. Um, We've been there in our own cap, in our own little way that, you know, I had given up, you know. Yeah, yeah and, he was like, you know, so I remember you saying to me, honestly, like, because I didn't even want to. Yeah, you were like, because, oh, like you know, you like, oh, if it's just for me, it's okay. Like you don't have to. Have so you know one. what it means for for you to experience ah, almost losing, God forbid, your wife or something. Then even not losing her, but you know the way her mind, she just loses her mind when it happens. And and I'm just like, I just want to have my wife. Do you understand? Thank God for this child that we have. I just want to have my wife. That was the mentality I got. You know, but I, I think we should just share the testimony of how it came about. You know, yeah. and then. Um, I, I thank God for my wife because I thank God for that non-dying spirit that he has put in her. And it's the same thing I still thank God for about with you with even everything you go through now, the fact that you don't sleep and everything. You just have that strong spirit that you don't even know you have. You know, you just keep going with things, mm-hmm. you know, because it's that thing that made you um, still believe and during the Alleluia Challenge. Mm-hmm. And I, I just believe God orchestrated everything because so that last year, we had Valentine's, we had Faji that we did not used to have normally. And mm. it, there was no money, there was no budget because I was still paying for Faji Friday that I had not finished paying for. So it didn't even make sense that she should be there because she was in the UK. But one thing led to the other. It was, it was, um, it was a Maki and... The Maki and, you know, they supported us, <laughs> you know, uh, did they NCT. give us some money to yeah, pay for your ticket and everything. They, they, and I, they wanted, you know, to, wanted to make sure that I came. I can't even remember, but we shall yeah. booked her ticket and she came and everything. And Hallelujah Challenge was going on. And that last year also, you know, I made a decision which showed all around my life, you know, that was when I was just to everything. I made a decision from the late year before that I just wanted to grow deeper in my work with mm. God. I wanted to start a serious, you know, private time with God and yeah. everything, you know. And part of 
So I did Wolfbeck mm-hmm. and I was like, hallelujah challenge, this time I'm not going to miss it and everything, you know. And that was where our miracle happened. You yeah. know, you want to narrate, you know. Yeah. Um, it was, we, okay, let me set up. Um, yeah, so, you want us. Okay, so I was, obviously we were back, we were in Lagos and it was that night and it was that night Pastor Nat had said, okay, we're going to tonight, for those of you that are expectant, that want to have a baby, that you're going to put pillow in your stomach. And I remembered, I was just like, oh, what's this now? Ah, cringe. But I was just like, okay. I was like, what, what do I have to lose? I'm thinking it's just me and my husband in this in this room. I put it in my, I put the, and you didn't even like, you didn't even like push me or I, anything to. Me, I cannot even remember like, to let you know how my mind, my, me, I was just, I, I know put mine for that yeah. child thing, you know. And I, I was just like, okay, I just, I put it, I put it in my stomach. I did feel silly initially and I was just, and then I was just praying. I was just like, you know what, Lord, that if you do it, it's fine. If you don't do it, it's fine. Like I, I think I had come to that point that I, I, did, I wasn't pining after. And I thank God for that season of, I didn't get pregnant again after that last one. And I'm sorry. And before, before the hallelujah challenge mm. we've, so I, I went to, I think I came to London one time and sorry, I would, mm. you know, we we had some knowledge of each other that was really really deep mm-hmm. and we expected when i say knowledge i mean you know yeah, so, and, and we expected that to be pregnancy and we and you know we bought those test yeah, kits and it was nothing and nothing you know so we had the you know there were times that we flipped yeah. ourselves so we were just like you know what we are not raising our yeah. hopes again we just forgot about it you know yes i, I, yeah. I even forgot about that yeah it's true and i think and i think a part of me i just didn't want to um keep getting my hopes up i think after that last time i was like you know what I can't live like this where I'm just like constantly thinking, am I going to, am I pregnant? My period will come. Oh, is, it, is my period, my period is late. Is, am I pregnant? Kind of thing. I just didn't want to do that anymore. So I just, so when I did that pillow thing, I, it was a case of I'm doing it and I'm leaving it here. Mm. I'm not, I'm not even looking at anything. I'm not expecting anything. I'm just going to enjoy, I'm going to enjoy my family as is at that moment in time. I'm enjoy my husband. I'll enjoy my daughter. And that's good. And that would explain why even when you felt like you were pregnant, you didn't tell me till I didn't tell you, him you went till, there. I was like, I felt it. And I was like, my period hadn't come. I'm going to wait. <laughs> but then it was when I was out, I was like, I can't wait any longer. I need to know. Like, I just, I felt so off when I, and this was like March. This was, so I was in Nigeria in February. This was like March. And apparently everybody around me was suspecting that I was pregnant. You didn't know. You didn't. And I didn't know. And so she bought the test kits. She bought the very expensive one that will not fail. <laughs> I was and like, let me not buy the You guys should go and check one. that video on our page. She posted it. The waiting, the, 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 the thing made you wait forever. Ridiculous. She found out she was pregnant. And I couldn't believe it. And she called me to tell me. And she was telling me, she was telling me to guess that she had, you know, a good gist. And for you to know that me had zero it in my mind. My mind not even go there. I was even like, see, I want chop. Tell me what in this thing <laughs> yeah. you now, you know. So when she told me she was pregnant, I, I did not... His face. Oh, like... boy. And it was the most amazing thing, you know. So this is just to let you, encourage you that... Because we are here now, all these things we are saying, yeah, now that we are saying it again, you know, we remember some of the emotions and we are crying, but we've literally forgotten. Yeah. When God brings you in your test... Now we are dealing with the <laughs> testimony that he has given you, which is another conversation on its own, you know. So there's going to be that time when you get to the other side of whatever you're experiencing mm. now. And one last thing I want to touch on before we leave is um, the power of our faith, why we should not give up. God really helped us mm. because maybe through our own belief, we would yes. have messed some things up because even this pregnancy, now came a time where you started bleeding again. Yeah, I was bleeding and it was, it was a lot. I was, I was, it wasn't even just bleeding, I was, there was clots. There was one particular day I was like, there was clots. And I'd already been to the urgent care like once before. And I, I was like, I think, and I went to urgent care again. And then there was a lady there. Every but At each point, God always sent somebody that to boost my faith. There was a woman that was, there was a nurse at the urgent care that I went to. And she was talking about how she, she said, don't worry, it's normal. It happens. My mom, my, mom, my mom had said that she had experienced it from my, one of my sisters. She said, God bless worry. your mom. <laughs> your, mom God uses your mom for My mom, like she, she I don't, I don't think she knows how much she yeah. can 
um, help encourage my faith. She's encouraged my faith so much, especially through this pregnancy, like my pregnancy. She really, really, really was helpful, like helped me and, and encouraged my faith a lot. And, and that's one thing I would want to encourage you with. Just look for, they are just, no matter what, they, they are people that make things that maybe are supposed to be serious. They make it, continue, continue, continue. We, that thing is important. It's very important. It's because, you know, the Bible says, you shall say to the, if you have faith, you will say to the mountain, be that moon mm. that cast into the sea. Sometimes, just that calling the giant a dwarf will Trust remove me. his power. So you need those people in your life yeah. that even when you are scared, because mm -hmm. your mom did a lot of those things. Yeah, you know? and like, even with like those, we had that with Fermi as well. My mom has been that person that would be like, I'll be like, mom, oh, this one, just, mom, 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 this baby will be fine, everything. And, I, and it was that, that, that really encouraged me. And um, another thing was the um, the testimony by Bishop Oyedipo's wife. Whoa. Because I remember going to the hospital and then they told me that, oh, they're not sure. They're not, the, the nurse was like, she doesn't really like the way this, ba this baby is developing. I'm going to have to come back and do another scan. I said, what? So there was, I, I don't know if that was the same one, you know, but so imagine... So the way it's been going is, you know, bleeding and clot. And what was coming into my head with that clot, I don't know about you, was, ah, when miscarriage happened, you know, the pieces of the baby mm -hmm. comes That's in clot. That was what was coming in my head. Then she now went to the hospital. So to just show you how the devil also uses machination sometimes. Mm. And that's why the Bible says that we we'll bring all our thoughts into captivity to the obedience mm -hmm. of Christ. Because your thoughts... Sometimes my want to the devil might want to use your thoughts and what you think is very important. The Bible says as a man thinketh, so he so mm -hmm, he is. Mm -hmm. You know, so the devil might want to be building it up with what you are seeing. So that was already in my mind that hey, then she now got to the hospital and you know whoever was doing that radiology was like they they don't they can't feel anything like a baby and everything Actually, or whatever. They don't, they don't like the way the the fetus was um seems to develop, that, develop. That is, as if it's not growing yes as if it's not growing so they, they need to do another check when i left that place yeah. before you left remember when you were going outside another nurse now told you that are you sure that there's still a baby remember yeah that, that came in she's like, are you sure like you know do you and you still feel pregnant i was like yeah i still feel pregnant no 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 there was there was because you came you were crying mm. that you said did not ask you that do you are you sure do you still feel pregnant and yes. you are now you now said I don't, I'm not sure that I still feel pregnant again. And that night I was, that was the night I was now, because me, in, in my mind, I was already like, ah, this thing has happened again. So I was now trying to let you know that, you know what, we'll pray. Yes. But, so before then, before I, so, so when I left the hospital, I felt so dejected. I was like, I went to McDonald's, I bought a big Coke and <laughs> I, I bought a meal. I didn't eat the meal. All I drank, I just drank the big Coke. So I, I just felt like, I just didn't know what else to do. And then that was, it was that night yeah. that we so, had that prayer. So, but before we had, so when me, I was not praying with her because in my own mind, I was like, ah, this thing is happening the same way again. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to not get my wife into that pit of, you know, say, say even if we lose, pit. exactly. Yeah. So I was like, okay, in my prayers, I was like, God, we know you can do this and everything. But even if you don't, we still believe you are God. So I, those are the kinds of prayers I was praying but. Thank God in his infinite mercy. That's why I, I, I'm like, you need to have somebody in your corner that will build your faith. And also, you need to be mindful. Do not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Because at the same time, so I have someone, you know, one, my prayer partner, he just messages me and says, um, can he call, come to my house for a video? Mm. You know, and it has never happened before with Jay. We always pray online and everything. I was like, okay, come now and everything. And he came. He was like, he doesn't know why he had that feeling to come. But what is going on? Then I narrated to him, I said, this is what's going on, but I don't pray, say, Baba God, you know, anyhow. He was like, no, you can't pray like that. We are mm. not accepting. This one is a gift from God and he's standing and everything. And we had a long vigil, a prayer that was like a warfare and, you know, and victory and everything, you know. And um, I just I just really thank God because, and this is, you know, it's also a lesson that no matter what you see, no matter how um, unfavorable or... Mm. Um, uh, no matter what you are seeing on the outside, the symptoms, mm. do you, you know, um, in as much as yeah, you are taking whatever, you know, precautions, but do not let your faith be Shaken. affected. Mm. So it was within that time, we now got the testimony of um, Bishop Oyedepo's wife, mm. Faith Oyedepo, that said, um, 
she went to the bathroom one time and she was be- bleeding and everything. Mm-hmm. And when Bishop came, and she was pregnant, mm. and when Bishop came, she told Bishop, Bishop was like, I better go and bring my food. It's not my business. God promised us a baby and a baby we shall get. That thing really improved our faith. As in, the fact that Twitter was not for people were focused about, oh, he's asking for food. And I was like, babe, no, look at this. She said, and the fact that the baby then became their first son, right? Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, because when I read that, all I could see was that he he refused to accept it. He didn't even allow it cross his mind. What that thing like, did to us, it just know? it like ignited my faith, and I was like, and not even just that. That's when we told Fermi. Mm. And so before and, we continue, yeah. a word for people online because a lot of people started bashing her, saying you know even a lot of famous names were like. Ah, don't talk like this. Oh, women go to the hospital. Mm. This is what kills women and everything. You know, in as much as, yeah, do your health talk and everything, but, but do not underestimate the place of the miraculous. Mm. Because what you have not experienced, you cannot understand. You cannot, so yeah. it's okay for you to say, oh, ah, yes, thank God for your miracle, but man, please encourage other people to go to the mm-hmm. hospital as opposed to you saying, ah, don't tell, don't, mm. because imagine. The people that see how that has boosted our own, um, mm-hmm. bo- see that see how that what has boosted our faith. See how, was pi- we were literally going through the same. It thing. was a pivotal point for me, especially because at that point my mind was all over the place. I was con- I was scared for them in the beginning of that pre- of the pregnancy. I was scared. There was no two ways about it. And you know, obviously, there were still times that afterwards that fear would come and and try to shake me. But at that point, I was just scared. I just didn't want to go through something like I. Let me tell you, the, the, that second miscarriage, it was a, it was something that I'd never heard of. It was a missed miscarriage. It's not a common thing to to for um, basically like the the fetus to still be there, but it's not viable, and you don't know. You won't know until you do a scan. That's scary. So that scared me, and I was like, I can't. I don't want that to happen again. Like. Obviously, like there's so many things that the enemy you try to throw. That's that's you know, I feel like God reminds, He brings to memory that His word, and the enemy brings to memory all the worst possible things that have happened in your life, like even down to someone that pushed you in the playground. And this thing you just said, this thing is very powerful because so God puts you to your mind His word, mm. and most times the enemy brings to you, quote and unquote, the seeming reality, the things that are going on, you know. So and that is. That is why God says, without you, if faith, if faith is literally so, our life. Because mm. so imagine what you are seeing. That's why that's not, I'm not moved by what, what I, I see. see. I'm mo- so it, it now depends on how much you believe in God. Mm. Because imagine having to now pick the word of God over what you think mm. you are seeing at the moment. Mm. Meanwhile, it's the devil just, you know, it's very, it's a very, no, very powerful it's, one. No, it's I think, and that was, yeah. So at the turning point, it was that, okay, this is a sink or swim. But also the another thing was telling Fermi was like an accountability of like it was, it was like a faith accountability. That's you know it was like we had to tell her in order for and Fermi's faith. She picked up the prayer from there. Oh my God! Fermi's faith boosted <laughs> oh, both of us. Like she, Fermi was even the one that decided the gender. She decided the gender. <laughs> she was like when I she'd be like I mean the baby is fine everything she would at the time she'd be Every like prayer she's time. fine. My sister is fine. That like, because I know I'm gonna have a sister. I know that Jesus has already done it. She would be proclaiming, declaring. I would look at her and I'll be like, yeah. She'd be like, yeah, the baby's fine. You know, Jesus, because I've already prayed for a sister and Jesus is already gonna give me my sister. The matter of factly, and that was every time she would remind me. Every week we would have the um, you know, what what to expect. Every week she wanted to see you know the progression of the of, of the pregnancy and that was also a declaration of this is what's happening now this is what's happening now in spite of what she didn't know anything else that was happening i was going to the hospital every at one point i was going to the hospital every two weeks because my i was a my yeah, pregnancy was high risk. risk yeah yeah you know and that's why that's why jesus said we should take the kingdom of god like little children because literally hmm. their faith is the strongest like even in me, mm. anything I say, tell her I will do. She, if I don't do it, she will, she just right. strongly believes I will do it. She has no reason not to believe. Do you understand? Yeah. So, like she, ah, it's 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 just a long one. I I just thank God, you know. Yes. Back to, okay, she's awake now. Back to that. Oh, yeah, they post wife. Just one more thing, you mm. know. And 
it would explain why you know some people go through some things sometimes most times even what you are going through is not might not really be for you might just be so that you have the experience so that you can help lift people out of the yes. heat when it's because imagine the uniqueness of that Oedipo's wife story to what you it, because it was exactly what was it going was exactly on, you us. know, and it really helped us. So even this tr- story we are sharing now, we know it's going to help a lot of other yeah. people out there, you know. And that's the and let me tell you, that's the only reason why my husband and I are sharing this story. You know, we share our parts of our lives, but it's it's literally like 10, 20 percent of our lives that we share on, on on social media. But the fact of the matter is, whatever we do share. Is that, is that it would encourage, it would educate, and it would be a blessing. Because at the end of the day, our lives are not our own. And, you know, we are, because we can't, evangelizing is not just about speaking God's word, but it's, it's also showing God's work and showing and, and speaking of what God has done in our lives. That is, that's the testimony. Like, the, you know, people are saved by others, te- by others' testimony. And that's what we pray will happen from this. And, um, you know, um, just let this be an encouragement to you. Whatever your situation might be, be that um, you've been married for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. You've not had a child or you've years. had one mm. or even more or you've had one and you're looking for the second whatever it is. Bible says, I'm my Lord. I'm the Lord who supply all your needs according to his riches in glory Amen. through Christ Jesus. You know, um, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 says, um, when Paul was praying, he said, God will give you inner strength from his unlimited, from his glorious unlimited resources Mm -hmm. through his Holy Spirit. You know, and uh, that just simply means that uh, 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 as as you experience more of God's breakthrough and miracles, you would have more faith to know that he can do more. So the same God that did this for us, whatever your situation is, he will do it. Yeah. You know, it's not easy 100%. to be going through the process. You, know? you that, want to that, talk? That's 100%. Yeah. yeah. It's not easy to go through the process, yeah. you know. But when you get to the other side, it will now be, as, be, almost be as if the process did not happen. Mm. You know, you just remember. See how much I was like, okay, did that? It was when she now started saying that. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Back to that time, mm. you know. So, and um, um, we just, first of all, just want to thank God that now we have come the check monitor now, you <laughs> know. God, thank <laughs> you. you. Know? Honestly, yeah. That, that the, the next conversation we're even going to have is how because imagine you that you've been waiting for a child for 10 years when you now have the child your new problem is now that you can't sleep again <laughs> and you would almost even it will almost make you you have to be careful not to even now be somebody that will yes, be complaining so we absolutely. have to talk about that in yes, the next episode 100% you know yeah. but we just want to say thank you Jesus thank you thank Lord. you we are so grateful thank We are, you, and she's so amazing when we saw Honestly. her when she came out we were like oh this and is even, perfect. And even, even her delivery was like, as the in, glory, as God was, wow. And shout out to Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, you know. Yeah. God really used him for us, you yeah. know. He was there with us. Really grateful. You know, we called him, he prayed for us. Even some things that happened, he, you know, he was the one that did the naming on Zoom. Thank you, sir. God bless you. And Thank God you. God bless you. Thank you so Imagine much. Imagine how many babies... <laughs> Don't come to life through that. Honestly, man. <laughs> I'm sure there's many, there's many ba- baby, you know what, baby Nathaniel. You know what, what I used to say before was, imagine a person like R. Kelly. He even sang it. Mm. That imagine how many babies they made through his song. But that's not the real thing. Mm. The real testimony is people like mm-hmm. Pastor Nathaniel. Pastor. People like NS, NSS PPD. Uh, what's but, the name um, of that? Uh, yes, um, Pastor. Uh, um, uh, oh, my mind. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, Pastor Jerry. I, I have Pastor a Jerry. funny. I have a funny thing in my mind. They don't go no. Now when they reach heaven, they just hear, ah, daddy, daddy, yes. that's all the children. Yes. Like As five in, million billion honestly. children. Daddy, that. Now tell you about this. God, how? When? <laughs> when? Where was I? You say hallelujah challenge, you know. <laughs> honestly, God. honestly, we laugh, but you know, it's such a blessing like to be able to laugh, to be on the mm. other side of the testimony. Mm. It's such a, you know, I never, we could have never foreseen that we would have gone through what we did. Mm. And I'm thankful to God that he sustained us, our marriage. He sustained our family. Um, he re- brought us closer. But I think, because I think it could have, you know, this yeah. kind of thing, it can, it, can, it can drive a wedge. It can cause so many different things. Yeah. Um, Thank God for how we just kept me and you together. So mm. that's, that was another thing that we were just so strong together that there was really nothing from the outside that could penetrate. Yeah. And we didn't really give room. So there was no pressure and yeah. thank God for the kind of family we have also yeah. thank God for your mom thank God yeah. for my sister so 
we didn't have all that. Oh, your sister like she yeah. really. Oh gosh. We didn't have all that, you Mommy know, Ari, because God bless imagine her. these kind of things now that maybe family members will not be whispering something in your ears, yeah. you know. So we thank God for also that bond. Mommy Mary, she know. came when she came off. You know, I, I still think yeah. about that time. I'm I'm, I'm emotional because after, like, is it after the first time? And she just came and she was like that was when she was not telling me her own story yeah, i never knew she she brought, me, she brought me food and she was like no you'll be fine like you know it just was like it was what i needed you know i thank god for kemi kemi like or she she would bring even during the time when i was pregnant the second time and i was on bed rest and she would, she brought me and i needed something spicy <laughs> gift, gift of good friends honestly you know. i really i'm grateful i'm grateful so yeah, well, if we we will know we don't go through. And we, I know that okay. there are people that have prayed for us that we probably will never know on our platforms. Yeah, we don't take yeah. it for granted. Yeah, and my heart prays for those people. Yeah. like my I know that God will bless you Amen. immeasurably in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Like that, those of you that have not only been respectful of our story, yeah, waited for us to share. But also that because as you said that I'm I know I'm very 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 sure that a lot of you yeah knew because mm -hmm. there was a time that it, my it, face it, it, like the pregnancy was showing all over her and there was a time because I now that that's what made me start all this podcast I used to interview other people yeah. because we couldn't bring her again so I knew a lot of you know and you respected that that's okay they've not announced yeah let's just keep quiet and everything i appreciate it thank you so I appreciate much it. thank you thank you thank you, so you for much. allowing me thank to just you. be i think and thank you for those that as you prayed for us you know i pray that god will bless you and grant mm -hmm. you your heart's desires and according to his mm -hmm. riches and glory in jesus mm -hmm. name yeah i'm grateful god is like there is something powerful about this like being able to come and share the work of god on online on the platform to people that we may ne we may or may never see um and i'm just really grateful and grateful. i just feel like there's just an atmosphere of you know declaration and mm. i just want to pray yes first of all with your lord we want to thank you thank you lord for any for even making it that we can share this kind of testimony thank you, jesus for bringing us from all those experiences and bringing us to this other side and it thank makes you, sense lord. that you indeed redeem time yes lord. you redeem you know the bible says when the lord brought back the captivity of zion they were like those that we dreams dreamed. lord we we just thank you. thank you and we are praying for anyone under the sound of our voices now or watching us on this other side and they are going through you know their own um wilderness journey right now mm. be it that they've been looking for children be it that they are exper experiencing miscarriages mm. be it that they are experiencing miscarriages in all that forms maybe in in productivity in their mm. work or whatever mm -hmm. whatever it is that is embodying in their our hearts. Lord. Lord, with our faith, we just want to thank you Absolute. that you are you are taking them to the other side Amen. of their journey. The Bible says your thoughts towards us are of good and not of evil Amen. to bring us to an expected Amen. end. Amen. And that expected end is what you know we expect. The Bible, Bible, the same Bible the Bible also says, you know, faith is the substance of things hoped for. So and that expected end is the things we hope for. And the Bible now says. It will do immeasurably and abundantly more than what we ask or imagine. imagine. So, Lord, we declare that this is their testimonies in the name of Amen. Jesus. Lord, we declare that everyone watching this right now, if you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, mm. by this time next year, you will be carrying yours in the name of Amen. Jesus. And you will come and you will share your testimony. Even if, even if, even if it is as comment on these videos in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we want to thank you for everyone here. Thank we want you, to thank Lord. you for the blessing that you have made this our testimony be to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for those that have given up that watching this video have revived their Amen. faith in you in the thank name you, of Jesus. Jesus. And everyone will come forth with their testimonies yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus. We declare that there are no more miscarriages Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes, no Lord. more miscarriages. And those of you that you've not even experienced any miscarriage, you've not experienced any miscarriage before, maybe just go married and everything, you will not experience miscarriages in the name of Jesus. Amen. And those of you that have experienced it, it's, it's the end in the name of Jesus. Amen. Carry your children Thank in you, the Jesus. name of Amen. Jesus. Carry your productivity in the name of Amen. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are the giver of good gifts. Yes, Every you are, good Lord. and perfect gift come Thank from you. you. Thank yes, you. Amen. You are so good. You are Hallelujah. so good. Glory be to your holy name. Amen. Oh, in Jesus' Jesus. name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, there's you, just, Jesus. you know, I just really, really feel there's a heavy manifestation and thank you, Jesus. The, the testimonies will come forth, you know. Amen. Amen. Ah, God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. You know. Hallelujah. See you guys, you know.
on yeah. the next episode as he lost strength yeah. in us because it's not easy right now, you know, but we'll try. We'll try. My God's grace. God bless you. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.